you want to take into consideration where you want your lathe. And that's an important thing. The most important thing is the headstock. If you're going to put this up against the wall, you want to make sure that this wonderful little thing called the knockout bar can get into here and go into the headstock because it knocks out all the centers and things that you put in on this end. If this doesn't go in and can't go in, you're in a lot of trouble. Now, this lathe is remarkably well designed and that's what I like about it because my stubby had a base plate so it was flat on the floor and we had a lot of troubles because I built this shop and it's wobbly and wonky and everything. But if you look at this, it has four legs that are individually adjusted. And the nice thing about that is they designed a really cool lift system so you can pick up one end of the lathe and adjust the legs the way you want them. The other thing is, is that even though you can get all four points touching the floor, you still might get some rock in the lathe. So if you wiggle it, you know, it'll go back and forth. And right now you see this is rock solid. Well, they've got a neat little system here. There's two bolts on every leg right here that once you have it leveled, you rock this back and forth until it doesn't rock anymore. So you settled the feet and legs into the shop floor. Floors aren't always straight, right? Obviously, since I built it, I know mine aren't. It's not as important to have this thing perfectly flat like a bubble is on it, but you want to have it perfectly stable so it doesn't twist or bend it. Now, this is about 700 pounds, so I don't think it's going to twist or bend. But anyway, I have this underneath some really good lighting. I have my tools right here, which is really important to me. And when I need sandpaper and stuff, I can go right here. So I've made this the central part of my shop. I'm a wood turner, not a wood worker, so I don't have a table saw laying around. This is my baby, and it's got to be exactly where I need it to do everything I want. Now, when you're shopping for a lathe, one of the things I suggest you look for is variable speed. The ability to start from zero and bring the lathe up to any speed you want. This one's cool because if I turn this on, it's a slow ramp up here. So it's barely turning, and then I can pick up the speed, and you can see how the spindle moves and this little puppy will fly. <laughs> but anyway, the thing is you wanna have variable speed because it makes it very easy for you to turn. The other thing is, is that the shop, the shop you have needs to have a lathe that fits it. So you might not start right off with something this large, you might start off with something smaller. The other thing is, is that you want to find the conveniences that you think are important. There's little touches on this which I really like. Down here, they actually have a power strip that's attached to the lathe, so when I'm using a drill or something to do sanding, I can plug in right here. The other thing is, down on the floor, is an emergency stop switch with your foot. There's lots of times when you're turning that you might be on the wrong side and away from your controller. So if I'm over here and something starts going crazy, I just go and it stops the lathe. Now I'm just going to do a little bragging. Robust came up with a great idea. These tail stocks are extremely heavy, and you saw me struggle with the stubby one for years. Watch this. <laughs> Isn't that nice? I mean, one finger, and it's out of the way. I want to bring it back. It comes back just like that. I love that. I'm going to be one happy camper having that. Wood Turning with Tim Yoder is sponsored by Easy Wood Tools, the wood turning system. Visit easywoodtools.com. Woodworkers Emporium, your source for robust and Vic Bart lathes. Rikon Tools, and Easy Wood Tools. The American Association of Wood Turners. The world's authority on everything wood turning. Thompson Lathe Tools. Welcome to a new level of professional wood turning tools. Tightbond has the widest choice of glues to help with whatever project you want to tackle. Rikon Power Tools. Tools designed by woodworkers. And Cook Woods. Your home for the finest exotic and domestic hardwoods since 1999.